heard he's a judo guy. Likes to throw a lot of leg kicks. I know that he's uh, trained with a bunch of wrestlers from Cold Lake, Alberta, so he looks like a big, strong guy. Turn it into a boxing match is what I want to do. Try to stay away from the ground. I've been doing a lot of judo and jiu-jitsu lately, so I'm trying to take it to my Trying to take it into my world. Hopefully it would be nice to get the KO of the night, but a W is a W. It really doesn't matter. Uh, to me, a win is a win. I want to put on a good show. I want to entertain the crowd. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the EFC cage from Pince Albert, Saskatchewan, Don Sather. Don Sather, another well-rounded athlete coming into here. Judo Green Belt, University of Saskatchewan wrestling team back in the day also. So definitely probably a stronger ground fighter than Tim Camelli. Yeah, also he uh, he does like to box. He has entered a, a few uh, few tough man boxing competitions. He does have an amateur boxing background as well. I was talking to him. He does like to throw that right hand, so it should be interesting. Definitely, and a couple of big guys here too. These guys both walk around at... Uh, Wow, well, one, is, one of them's at around 220, the other one's at around 240, so. Yeah, Don Sather walks around about 240, uh, and he used to be bigger. I have seen him fight before. He is, you know, he used to be a lot bigger. He's thinking of eventually dropping down to 205, which he would be quite quite big for, so. I think both these guys, actually, I know Tim Camelli's our defending champion right now, but uh, our last EFC, he actually dropped down as well, and I think in the future, he is looking at dropping down, and maybe make a run for both belts, or just uh, make a stay at light heavyweight. I think that he's feeling that he's not the biggest heavyweight in the world. Uh, you know, in, in against even Don Sather here, he's uh, going to be the smaller man in the ring. In the you know, cage, rather, so. uh, 20 pounds is a lot of weight to move around, you know. It's uh, not necessarily that, you know, it's... Uh, they're, they're stronger than you or anything like that, is that you have to push around more weight and that can get tiring and can affect you mentally. Absolutely, and you look at the upper echelons of the sport now, and these guys are having a hard time making 265 as the weight, some of them, so, you know, you're definitely getting some bigger bigger men in the ring. Oh, you, you, you look at the UFC heavyweight division, you know, he is Shane Carwin, Tim Tim Hag, Brock Lesnar, Frank Mir, they're all, they all have to cut to make 265. And there's just not as much room for the guys who weigh about 220 walking around. No, those guys, honestly, uh, if that's your walk around right, then really light heavyweight's probably more your natural weight class. Don Sanders going to do his best here to capture the belt. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the cage the current undisputed EFC heavyweight champion, Tim Camelli. Tim Camelli in Cold Lake, just a, about an hour and a half drive to the north from Lloyd Minster. Team Sparta, a pretty tough club up there. No, it, you know, all the, all the guys from that camp are really tough. Uh, Tim Camelli, you know, he's a, he's a pretty good striker. He's a southpaw kickboxer, so this fight should be interesting. He wants to keep it standing, and uh, he's the heavyweight, heavyweight champion for a reason. Absolutely, you know, he throws heavy leather every time that he goes in there. I think he's going to definitely try to keep this fight standing. If it goes to the ground, he's not a complete fish out of water, but uh, he's looking to land some heavy punches for sure. Oh, uh, you know, this is his first fight back at, uh, at heavyweight. His last fight was at light heavyweight, and he had a little bit of trouble with uh, Sean Wright, who is, you know, a really good ground guy. So it could be interesting. Maybe we saw a little chink in the armor of Tim Camelli and uh, that Don Sather wants to exploit, you know, him being a ground guy. I think, I think definitely Camelli realized that and uh, is, is trying to, you know, correct that gap in his game if it is there. Uh, it's something that he's been working on for sure. And, I mean, you've you got to be well-rounded, right? You've got to be able to, to take the fight to the ground if you need to, you know, if you get caught up top. Or you can't always just stand in there and trade. A exactly, you know, and w once you start getting higher up there and fighting tougher guys, it's going to really depend on who is more well-rounded and uh, who comes in ready to fight, ready in good condition. All right, here's our tale of the tape for our next fight. Our heavyweight title between Tim Camelli and Don Sather from Prince Albert, Saskatchewan. Tim Camelli looking in pretty great shape. I know he had a big cut to get down to 205, but uh, neither of these guys really had to cut anything to get in here, so they're, they're pretty fresh by Tom Truck Oil Field Services is scheduled for five rounds and is for the EFC Heavyweight Championship. 
Your judges cage side are Cole Argu, Adam Mason, and Len Coivisto. And the man in charge when the bell rings is your referee, Mr. Vern Gorman. Introducing first the challenger to my right in the blue corner. This man is a judo fighter. He went in at 238 pounds. He comes in with a professional record of three victories and one loss, representing Deadly Legends Fight Club from Prince Albert, Saskatchewan, Don Sather. And introducing the champion to my left in the red corner. This man is a striker. He weighed in at 220 pounds even. He comes in with a professional record of six victories and one loss. Representing Team Sparta from Cold Lake, Alberta, he is the current undisputed EFC champion, Tim Camelli. gentlemen this is the title fight remember to listen to my commands at all times remember to protect yourself at all times fight clean fight hard touch them up come out on the belt so our first belt of the evening on the line tim camelli looking to defend his heavyweight crown against don sather from prince albert saskatchewan the one thing i notice is uh, tim camelli has both knees wrapped i'm wondering if he's coming in possibly with an injury i haven't seen him with those before either that's a good point touch gloves and come out. You know, I'm, I'm always surprised about this sport. These guys were, came into the weigh-ins last night like a couple of buddies. I thought they were together and then they find out their opponents and now they're going to try to take each other's head off. You know, uh, Don say they're taking the center of the ring. It looks like he's uh, trying to set up a clinch or a leg sweep. Uh, he's really trying to control the center of the cage. Camelli content to circle, circling away from uh, Sather's power. Well, hey, he's on the, he's on the south boss dance right now, Sather, though, too. It's oh! Locked, looks like he's in trouble. Camelli really trying to finish. It's over! Spectacular knockout by Camelli. Wow. Circle to his right just long enough to drop that one, two, and put Sather on his back, and there was no, no recovery. No, you know, he just hit him with that big overhand and right on the button, and he went down. And uh, that's what happens, you just, you don't keep those hands up right in the right place, you circle in the wrong way, and you get caught every once in a while. Sather looked like he was covering up and getting ready, but man, he caught that right on the jaw and he went down, and you could see that the lights were out. Yeah, he, he, as soon as he hit him, he went down to the ground, and it looked like he almost tried to grab half guard, but it didn't really matter because he didn't have the, the faculties yet to uh, really defend himself properly. No, and Camelli, there was there was no letting up there either. You know, he, he spilled the blood and he went for the kill. Let's go to Dean Panis now for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Vern Gorman stops this boat at 36 seconds of round number one. Your winner by knockout and still. Right Fight fans, I'm here with the EFC heavyweight champion, Tim Gamelli. Now Tim, came out, I thought you guys were gonna feel each other out a little bit. What I mean by that is set your range. I was expecting a, maybe a left jab, but all of a sudden it was an overhand left that landed right on the button. He drops his hands when he kicks a little bit, so that was the game plan. Time to kick, hit him with the left, put him to sleep. So no feeling out process needed. The guys in the corner knew exactly what was gonna happen. You saw it and you were ready to execute. I got an awesome team, man. I owe everything to my team. Every, uh, Johnny Seminar, Chad Fry, Jeremiah Seminar, Raphael Bergman, Mario's not here. All those guys, I love you guys. And, uh, my wife, Brianne, I love you, baby. Now, there's no doubt about it tonight. Definitely a lot of hometown fans here for the Lloyd boys. Cole Lake's not too far down the road. How does it feel to still be the EFC heavyweight champion? Feels awesome. Feels really good. Let's get a shot of that belt for the camera. There you go, the EFC heavyweight champion, Tim Camelli. 